I wish I could go back and tell my first year self this. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you what mistakes you need to avoid making at university. I made a lot of mistakes, I'm sure a lot of other people made mistakes because when you first go to university, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what it's like, it's a completely different experience. I'm here to make sure that you guys don't make these same mistakes that I did. First mistake I would avoid is overpacking. Now, so, so, so many students end up doing this. I remember when I moved in three years ago in my first year, I remember there were some people who turned up with vans. People had hired vans. Can we just take a second to appreciate that? Vans. You do not need to be bringing so much that you need to hire a freaking van. I'm sorry, what? Honestly, do not overpack. It is not worth it. You only need to bring the essentials. If you want me to do a video on what to take to university, then let me know in the comment section below and I will do that. But yeah, do not overpack. Everyone does it. You don't need to do it. It only becomes a nightmare, especially for Oxford students who have to move out every single term. Just don't do it. If you really need something, just get your parents to send it to you or go out and buy it. You know, you can do without it. It can't be that important that you need to take everything from your home bedroom. You just don't. Pack seasonally. Don't think that you need to take all of your summer clothes for your first term. You don't. I'm sure you're going to be going home before the summer <laughs> to go and get those. Just bring the bare essentials and only take what you really, really need because overpacking, it's just not worth it. The second mistake to avoid is buying lots and lots and lots of stationary supplies for university when you don't even know what your style is going to be. You don't even know what you might need. It could be completely different from what you used at school and at sixth form or college. So don't go crazy with the stationary. I know people are doing stationary hauls and supplies and going out and buying things. But to be honest with you, a lot of the stationery that people buy, they just don't even end up using. Only buy things you know you're going to use because you've used them in the past, you know they've worked for you, or you just know that they're going to be useful. Like pens, pens are always going to be useful. <laughs> just don't go crazy with it, you can always buy as you go along, you just don't need to bulk, bulk buy things. I did my own stationery haul and supplies haul and those are all things that I genuinely use and I know that are useful at university so just don't go crazy. The third mistake is buying unnecessary things to decorate your room with before you even arrive in your room. You see these people going off to Ikea, going off to Dunelm, going off to Home Sense, going off to like whatever shops, I don't even know what shops, to try and decorate the university room before they've even arrived. Like how do you know what your university room is going to look like? I get it if you want to buy you know some bare basics, maybe you want to buy some nice cushions to take with you or a rug, take some fairy lights, things like that, buy some new bedding but beyond that I just don't really see the point unless you know what your room looks like and how you want it to look there's no point going out and buying loads and loads and loads of things before you even arrive before you know what you're working with another tip related to that is also don't make the mistake of arriving into a university room and thinking that you need to make it perfect immediately and that you need to decorate it exactly the way you want it within the first two days no you don't the first few days you're going to want to go out and socialize and meet new people and do other things you're not going to want to spend all your time in your bedroom trying to make it perfect you have so much time to do that not in the first week i remember that i used to get bogged down thinking oh my gosh it needs to be done it needs to be sorted out no no it really doesn't when you have other more important things to be doing the fourth mistake to avoid is staying in your room the entire time don't stay in your room the entire time, especially in Freshers' Week. I know it's difficult. I know some people are more shy than others. It's overwhelming. It's a new situation. You're with different people and it's stressful and it's scary, but don't stay in your room the entire time because you will regret it. Everyone's in the same boat as you. You're going to only hinder your own progress. You're not going to be able to go out there, grow as a person, meet new people, do new things, experience new things that you haven't before. So just, yeah, just please don't stay in your room the whole time. Fifth mistake to avoid is buying brand new textbooks. You don't need to buy brand new textbooks. If you do, especially if you're a science student, which I think they're hundreds of pounds, that is just a waste of money. You don't need to do it. Buy secondhand, use library books, or try and buy books from the years above you who are selling their textbooks. Just try and find a cheaper way. You don't need to buy them brand new. There is absolutely no point in doing that. Okay, now going on to once you've actually started university and Freshers' Week is over, a big mistake to avoid is not checking your university emails regularly because you are going to get lots of useful and important <laughs> emails almost every single day, especially when you first started. So make sure you're checking your emails every single day. If you don't have push emails, make sure you're checking your emails actively because there could be important information on there that you've missed just check your emails i've been in the situation where i've turned up to a lecture and then realized that the lecture was cancelled and i hadn't seen the email 
So yeah, make sure you check your emails. Related to that is the seventh mistake to avoid is skipping lectures, classes, seminars. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Honestly, I think I calculated once that an hour lecture of mine was the equivalent of like £150 of my tuition fees. Like it's not worth it. Try and go to your lectures if you can because it's better to have gone and have the material and have sat through it and got the lecture handout than to just not have gone at all because even if the lecture is useless you still have that material and you still you, there's probably at least one thing you can take from that lecture so definitely please try and go i mean you are at the end of the day you are paying for your degree so just go to the lectures and don't skip your classes or seminars because that's not good that's really not good at the end of the day you're there to get your degree and you can only get your degree by attending the lecture seminars and classes so don't don't miss them and do not skip a tutorial you will fall behind and you will feel really out of it so just just don't the eighth mistake that i've made and i'm sure many university students have made is not consolidating your material as you go along i wish i could go back and tell my first yourself this consolidate your material as soon as you've done it if you've just had a tutorial or you've just had a lecture if it was been in the morning maybe in the evening just quickly go over those notes again or even if it's the next day spend some time the next day just typing up your notes or going over your notes or condensing them or doing something in some way to just make sure that you are consolidating that material and then a week after the lecture so before maybe the next lecture in the series just recap the first lecture or the lecture the previous lecture and that will just set you in good stead for going into that the next lecture but also in general consolidating and keeping up that information that you've learned and retaining it so yeah consolidate the ninth mistake is not getting involved enough and i've said this before but just get involved from the start i really wish i had got involved from the start in societies and doing sport anything just go out and get involved in things because you're at university you're there to try new experiences to delve into new things and i really regretted not getting involved right from the start because it's really difficult i think once you've started university and if you haven't started right from the beginning at the beginning of the academic year it's a lot more difficult to get into a society or a club during the academic year it's not the case for all societies at least at oxford but it definitely is when it comes to things like sport it's really difficult to get into it because people have already started from the beginning and they've all got close already and they're all friends so definitely try and get involved from the start it's just easier it's better you can make friends that way as well especially if you're a fresher so just get involved whether it's from the start or you know halfway through because you won't regret it and it's really fun and it's a nice break away from work number 10 which i think is really 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 important is the mistake of not asking for help when you need it because everyone struggles at university there are going to be weeks and times where you find yourself really really struggling with a topic and not understanding things and you're really not doing yourself a favor if you keep that to yourself and if you don't try and ask for help whether that's from another course mate or that's from a lecturer or that's from your own tutor definitely go out and ask for help when you need it because that is really going to help you and your university lecturers and tutors are there to help you learn and help make sure that you understand things so definitely utilize that don't keep it inside because that is what i did in my first year and i do regret it number 11 is not going over the content or the material for a class a seminar or a tutorial just before it happens because especially i found with tutorials i always go over what what the, what the tutorial is going to be about before I go in because usually we'll be discussing the essay that we've written or whatever the topic of the week is and it really really helps to just refresh your mind and think about the topic before you go into it because you will just get a lot more out of it. The next mistake I would say to avoid is going home too often. I know it's difficult if you're the type of person who is a homebody and you do feel really really homesick and you are overwhelmed and anxious and nervous about the whole situation moving in being a first year being away from home it might be your first time i get it but try and avoid going home constantly because that just takes you away from the university environment which means you're missing out more on university life if you're not going to be there they're going to be getting closer they're going to be spending more time with each other you're going to miss out even more so then when you return you're just going to feel even more left out of things or even more isolated and then it just becomes a spiral and it just it's just it's just not good try not to go home too often if you are dealing with homesickness there are people to talk to try and reach out try and spend time with your flatmates or people in your college it's just i just wouldn't recommend going home too often another mistake to avoid is not dealing with your stress properly so university can obviously be a very stressful time a very stressful environment and if you don't know how to deal with your stress properly that's when things can get really really bad make sure you know how you cope and deal with stress effectively make sure you know who to go and speak to what resources out there are, are available for example personally i know that if i'm really really 
stressed out with things i will then try and get back into a good routine exercise more regularly i'll go and spend time with my friends and that's how i would deal with the stress if you don't deal with your stress effectively that is when things can turn really sour another mistake to avoid is just staying on your campus or in your college for the whole time <laughs> you're at university you will be potentially moving to a completely new city or a different part of the city you currently live in and there's so much more out there to go and explore don't just stay within the walls of your campus or your college because yeah, there's a lot more out there. So in Oxford, I definitely spent a lot of time in my college in my first year and there's just so much more to see. So I'd definitely say wherever you are, try not to spend too much time on your campus, go out and explore. There's, there's probably going to be a lot of other things to do beyond university. This new city is gonna become your second home and you want to be able to know more about it and have explored the streets. Another mistake to avoid is buying lunch out every single day or even dinner as well because that is going to add up. I recently did a how to budget for university video where I give you a free budgeting spreadsheet so if you want to go and have a look at that I'll link it here and um, below in the description box. I think that's going to be really useful but yeah don't eat out for lunch every single day or buy lunch even if it's just a sandwich or a meal deal. Those three pounds are going to add up very fast so I would say definitely try and economize by taking a packed lunch making a sandwich or something in your own room another mistake to avoid at university is thinking that the library is the only place to study now i am the type of person anyway i really like working in cafes i like the cafe environment so for me i always went out and tried to find cafes that i really liked working in so for example in oxford i really like working in the upstairs of leon i also really like working in george street social so i was really active in going out and trying to find cafes that i liked working in and you might be the same or if you've never tried working in a cafe maybe go and try it sometimes the library can get boring and it's a nice change of scene so don't always just think that the library is the only place to work there's also parks you can work outside on benches you can work on the grass outside in a park don't make the mistake of thinking that you can only work in a university library because some people it just doesn't work as effectively or some people just don't like the library and the final mistake to avoid it is difficult but it's having unrealistic expectations for university i know a lot of people i think i was one of them you are about to start university and you think you're going to have the best three, four years of your life and it's going to be amazing, you're going to make these friends for life and you're going to have so much fun and you're going to be partying and you're going to be having new experiences and just meeting so many new people and blah blah blah. While that might be the case for some, that definitely is not the case for the majority. University, it has its ups, it has its downs. The reality of university is probably not what you're expecting, so try and keep your expectations really realistic. You are going to have really good times but you're also going to have really low times. Try to remember that, try not to go in thinking that these will be the best years of your life. They very well might be but they also might not be i've had friends who graduated last year and the year before that lots of them have told me that they weren't the best years of their life so try and have realistic expectations i know there's a huge hype about around university and how cool and amazing it is but for some people it's just a phase of their life a chapter of their life that they go through so yeah just set realistic expectations it is difficult i know but it's better than being disappointed <laughs> I hope you guys found these useful and that you do avoid making these same mistakes that I and a lot of other university students have made. I hope you're enjoying this university series on my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell if you are not subscribed already to make sure that you don't miss out on the rest of my university series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.